So possibly you already know how to use por y para, but in Spanish we have some expressions or some kind of common sentence, common, uh, common structures to use in your daily routine. For us, for Latin people, they will be really helpful for you in case that you are traveling in South America or you, if you are living in Mexico, Colombia. So this one is common expressions uh, using por y para. So let's dive in. Por, okay, for example, por. We use a lot, por favor, Bas basic. This word is basic, por favor, please use it, use it. Use it and use it more often, por favor, all the time, por favor. Next one, por ejemplo, for example, this one is way, way more common in, in Spanish than in English. In English they use, I think, they use more like picture this or something similar but in spanish we use por ejemplo for example a lot for example my own case i use it a lot for uh, por ejemplo for example if you want to say sure of of course that kind of uh, for sure of course we use por supuesto por supuesto and um, for example um, um luis um, vamos a ir a la fiesta mañana por supuesto por ciento percentage por ciento so we, if we're talking about numbers or we're talking about business eh, por ciento eh, for example eh, nuestras ventas crecieron 20 por ciento nuestras ventas crecieron 20 por ciento 20 percent in this case 20 percent por qué why literally why why to do this por qué hacer esto por qué Por fin, finally. Okay, this one is quite common. Por fin. So if you are waiting for someone uh, to get ready, or you're waiting for someone to go to the party, or go to the restaurant, or go um, to go whatever place, you said por fin. You said, for example, if, if you're waiting for your girlfriend or your boyfriend, that is like a common that is a common situation where you can use this uh, this word. Por fin, vámonos. Finally, let's go. Por fin. Para variar. Okay, this one is quite common. Para variar. Eh, para variar, eh, if we're trying to translate it, um, I think the most accurate will be by the way, but like in, in a bad mood. In a bad mood. For example, by the way. It's like a bad news, but using by the way. For example, I lost the key of my door. Um, by the way. By the way, I don't have any money with me right now. So it's like a bad news. It's, it's like a bad. It's like a bad mood. So we use para variar. For example, olvidé las llaves de mi habitación y para variar no tengo nada de dinero aquí. So all the time para variar. Para dónde? Mm, quite similar to. Quite useful. Para dónde? Para dónde vamos? Where are we going? Basically. Para dónde vamos? Where to? To where? Mm -hmm. Where to? Para dónde? Para dónde vamos? Mm -hmm. And the last one, para ti, for you. Mm -hmm. Quite basic, para ti, for you. It was a quick video, actually. If you like this kind of content, please hit the like button, subscribe, and also leave the comment below. I will here with another video, and see you next time. Bye-bye.